general equation of a circuit or vice versa so I will give you one example of a general equation and one example for standard equation so let's start so for the first part of our lesson um, let's have transforming general equation to standard equation of a circuit. Okay? And this is uh, uh, very important, especially if we are going to graph a circuit. Because, um, as you can see, this one is in general form. And you cannot simply uh, graph this one directly using this equation. It's so hard. That is why you are going to transform this one first to standard equation. Okay? So this is the so the main uh, point here. You're going to transform this general equation to the standard equation of the circuit. And by the way, what is the standard equation of a circuit? The standard equation of the circuit we have. Standard equation of a circuit. So this is x minus h squared, y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay? So from this equation, we are going to transform this one into this kind of equation. This is the standard equation. Okay? Where h and k uh, is your vertex. No, Vertex is the center, okay? Where H and K is the center of your circuit, and the R is the radius of the circuit. So let's start. So the first thing that you are going to do, you are going to arrange. Arrange the, the terms. Uh, arrange it with an... Uh, ano ba? So you are going to arrange this one, uh, arrange this one according to their variable. So, pag sama sama mo yung the same variable. You have x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 6y. Okay? So ang ginawa natin, pinagsama sama natin yung the same variable. So, magkatabi na sila, magkatabi. And of course, the three, our three is called our constant. So, ang gagawin mo sa constant, you are going to transpose. Okay? You are going to transpose our constant to the other side. So, uh, instead of negative sa sign, the sign of our constant will turn into positive. Okay? Bakit siya naging positive? Because it transformed natin siya. And after this process, uh, we have this uh, way of uh, uh, way of solving. We have this uh, completing the square. Completing the square, I, um, I'm sure na narinig na yan siya yung the word na complete the, uh, completing the square. When you were in grade 8, but of course, I will teach you uh, to use, how to use completing the square in an easy manner. Okay? So, ito yung process. X squared, just copy lang. Next, lagyan natin plus blank. Okay? We are going to fill in the blank later. Okay? Fill in the blank. Plus, 
y squared plus 6y plus blank. Sir, bakit mo blank? Yan. Tanong, bakit mo blank? Uh, ito yung uh, uh, technique. Yan. Yeah. Ito is yung isa sa mga technique para mas mabilis niya mag-iintindihan yung process. How many blanks ang ating nilagay? Diba? We have two blanks dito at dito. So, on the other side also, we are going to put dalawa. Okay? Kung dalawang blanks dito, dalawa din sa kabila. Kung ano yung number na ginagay mo dito, the same number na ginagay mo dito. Next. X minus blank square. The question is, bakit minus? Yan ang tanong. Bakit minus ang ginagay ito? Because, as you can see, the sign of the linear term, ito yun siya ito. Ito, ito yun sila yan. Yan at saka ito. Ang tawag sa kanila, ah, ang tawag sa kanila is linear term. No, the sign of our linear term sa x is minus. So, dapat minus. Then, of course, plus y. And the sign, the sign of the linear term dito is positive. So, dapat plus. Blank square. Habo ko din, sir, no? Um, siguro, uh, constant practice, hindi siya maging hato para sa... Now, ano ang pinalagay nyo sa blank? Focus on yung... Focus sa linear term na nyo. Our linear term is 4x. Tama? For the constant of the linear term. The constant of the linear term dito is 4. Ano ang half ng 4? What is the half of 4? The half of 4 is 2. And 2 squared, you have 4. So, 4 ang ilagay dito. Okay? Now, dito naman na side. Ano ang half ng 6? Ang half ng 6, half a half. Ang half ng 6 kay 3. And... 3 squared, we have 9. So, dapat 3 dito. Then, squared. Squared ng 3. 3 times 3, not 3 times 2. Okay? 3 squared is 9. Hindi 6. Ha? 3 squared is 9. So, 9 dito. Now, kung ano yung dilagay mo dito na number, kung ano yung di-add mo na number dito, which is 4 and 9, dapat mag-add ka rin dito ng 4 at saka Eh, dapat complement. 4 at saka 9 ang dilagdag dito. Dapat sabi lang yung 4 at saka 9. Now, ah, 3 plus 4. We have 7 plus 9 is 16. So, we have now the standard equation of x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 Square is equal to 16. Okay? Of course, you are going to make sure na ganito yung style ng kanyang na juice. So sir, how are we going to transform this 16 into this kind of style of term? Ibaro siya. Now, what is the square root? The square root of 16 is 4. So, 4 squared. Okay? Ha? Kasi, 4 squared is 16, not 8. Okay? 4 squared means 4 times 4. 4 squared is 16. Okay? And this is now the standard equation. This is now the standard equation of our circle with center of Our center, we have 2 and negative 3 with the radius of 4. Sir, paano mo yung nakuha? Paano nakuha yung center na 2 at saka negative 3? Of course, this one, if you are going to equate, if you are going to equate this one into 0, the x minus 2 is equal. 
equal to 0, I suppose x is equal to 2. Kaya po siya. On the other hand, sa so y naman, if you are going to equate, equate this one, y plus 3 is equal to 0, then you will now have y is equal to negative 3. Transpose the positive 3 will be transposed into the other side, will turn into negative 3. That is why it's negative 3. Therefore, our center now is 2 and negative 3. And of course, the radius is 4. R, sorry, 4 squared. Of course, r squared is equal to 4 squared. Extract the square root. So r is equal to 4. Okay? So from this equation, this general equation, na transform na natin siya into standard equation. And welcome back. So, uh, for the part 2 of this lesson, I will teach you na naman ang kabalikaran ng opposite. So, I will teach you how to transform standard equation, which is our given, to our to general equation. So, from this equation, we are going to transform this one into this kind of equation. So, our goal is to transform this standard equation, which is this, this is our given, to this kind of equation, general equation. And just like what I told you kanina, that if we are going to graph a circle, um, it is easy for us to graph if the given is in standard equation. Okay? Mas madali i-graph ang circle pag nakaganito na. Okay, so, of course, uh, uh, meron ng separate topic for that one, yung graph na circle. So, we will focus muna dito. So, um, of course, we are going to find the center first. So, what is the center? The center is negative 5 and 6 with the radius of 7. Sir, paano mo naman nakuha mo naman yun siya? Paano naman nakuha yung negative 5, 6, at saka 7? So, if you are going to equate, wait a term, if you are going to equate x plus 5 is equal to 0, transpose 5, it will turn into negative 5. That is x, this is y. At saka, yung y, yung y minus 6 naman natin, y minus 6 is equal to 0, so y is equal to 6. So 6. Ang 49, sir, saan naman yung siya ha? Of course, square root. Square root of 49 is 7. Okay? You can use your calculator, by the way. You can find the square root of your calculator. You know? Square root of 49 is 7. Okay? That is why the radius is 7. So go back to our standard equation. Our standard equation, x plus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 49. So this is our given, the standard equation. And our goal is to convert this one into general equation. So let's start. We are going to simplify this one. Okay? Simplify. The result is x squared plus... 10x plus 25. Sir, sa ito ba This one is the expanded, expanded form of this one. Okay? So, paano na siya expand Paano siya expand That's a good question. Okay, he expand siya using this one. Diba x plus 5 squared 
means x plus 5 times x plus 5. Then, x plus 5 squared means x plus 5 times x plus 5. So, you are going to use FOIL method. So, x times x, that's x squared. x times 5, that's positive 5x. 5 times x, that's 5x. 5 times 5 is 25, and you will have the result of x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay. So the expanded form of this one is the command, using FOIL method. Um, actually, meron siyang shortcut, but um, uh, I want to, uh, na lang, kaya nga discover kasi, uh, actually, may shortcut talaga siya. Kasi sa, kasi sa, sa utak ko siya. Kasi pag makikita ko ganito, um, it will, ano talaga sa may, sa aking brain na, ito talaga yung sagwa. Siguro, due to constant practice. Again, next, we're going to find, we're going to expand this one naman. Expand this one. So you have, y minus 6 times y minus 6. Okay? Using FOIL method, so y squared, minus 6y, minus 6y, plus 36. Remember, negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. So y squared, minus 12y, plus 36. Mm -hmm. Negative 6 minus negative 6 is negative 12. Okay? Negative numbers minus positive number it will turn into negative numbers. So you have y squared minus 12y plus 36 is equal to 49. After this process, you are going to combine my terms. Okay? So x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 12y, okay? Plus 25 plus 36. Minus 49. So, bakit naging minus 49 na positive man ito? So, if you are going to transpose positive 49 to the other side, if you can transpose natin, the result now is negative 49. So, plus 0. Sir, bakit now na yung x squared to show y squared? Of course, in the general equation, no, naman talaga yung x squared. Followed by the y squared. Followed by the x, followed by the y. And of course, the rule, sabi na ng rule na uh, maulan talaga yung x kasi bago mag y. Kasi in the alphabet, sino mas, sino mas nauna? Right? Diba si x? So, maulan talaga yung x. And uh, the higher the degree of the exponent, siya talaga yung mauna. So, let's go back here x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 12y, if you are going to add this one, 25 plus 36 minus 49, so you have x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 12y, my god, may tapo na ang mga operation. And that will be 25 plus 36 and 11 air plus 61. 61 minus 49, you have uh, 5 and 2, but so you have positive. Okay? And this is now our general equation. Okay? So from this given, from this given standard equation, the transform natin siya into general equation. Okay? And of course, don't you worry because I will provide more examples during our class. And I've made already um, a video of this, this ano, uh, another problem, so another equation known back. So that's all.